So in the last screencast we looked at these pretty standard use cases for the deploy module. We deployed content from one Drupal site to another and we deployed content between workspaces in the same site. Within this screencast I'm going to look at a further use case in where we're going to deploy content from Drupal to a CouchDB database. So I've already gone ahead and set up an endpoint called Cloudant. Cloudant is a hosted uh, CouchDB database uh, with um, IBM and I've created a, a database there called Drupal um, and this is how I've also configured the uh, endpoint within my Drupal site. You'll see here I've got no documents uh, at the moment in this uh, CouchDB database and we can go back to um, the, the Drupal site and take a look at the endpoint. We'll see it's just pointing to Cloudant with the, the Drupal database. So if we do a, a deployment we're going to go from the default workspace on Drupal to Cloudant and we can push the deployment there and it will push all content entities from this Drupal site over to the CouchDB database at Cloudant. So we've got a successful deployment there. If we go back to Cloudant, do a quick refresh and we'll see there's 14 documents showing on the, the CouchDB database. And we can hop into one of these documents and take a look. This is a node. It's article bundle type, we've got the title there, um, we can see sort of which user uh, generated this article, uh, we can go further down and, and view the, the different fields that are related to that. So we've got a full entity um, and 13 others as well. This allows us to use CouchDB as a content hub so we can replicate all of our Drupal content, all of our entities, all our users, taxonomy terms, everything can be replicated over onto CouchDB. We can use it as a backup or just as a canonical source of all of our entities and then we can move them all about and, and deploy them all over the place. So if we go back to Drupal 1, uh, back to the, the main site, let's just make sure we're on the default workspace there before we go and add some more content. So let's go and add a, a basic page. Um, so let's save and publish that page and we have a, a new page there. If we then go to deploy again, select the default workspace as the source, cloud and again as a target, and do another deployment, we'll notice that Cloudant has updated again and there's now 15 documents in the content hub there. Going back to Drupal 2 now where we've also set up the same Cloudant endpoint, we can do a pull replication. So we're going to set Cloudant as the source and the default workspace as the target. So we're now pulling content down from our content hub in CouchDB down to Drupal. So if we go to our content list we'll now see that we've got this new page that we created on Drupal 1. So it's gone from Drupal 1 up to our content hub on Cloudant back down to, to Drupal 2 again. So this is a kind of workflow that you can do by using CouchDB as a canonical source for your content.